Do you think Boris Johnson now has to take back control? Because I sometimes feel like he's allowing Witty and Valance and Ferguson to run this whole thing and it's not working for him. Absolutely. Good evening. Absolutely. Advisers advise, uh, politicians decide. So the prime minister should be making the policy guided, only guided by the medics and scientists. And there's been too much in recent weeks of the medics and the scientists getting on, giving their views on the airwaves. And frankly, the tourism industry, the hospitality industry in my constituency is now being hit stone dead. And there will be no doubt many cases of people getting uh, mental problems as a result of this uh, quasi lockdown. So it should be the prime minister. He should take firm control and he should say there will be no further uh, measures before Christmas, because we won't know before Christmas whether these cases of Omicron are going to develop into serious hospital cases or not. So you should say there will be no further measures before Christmas. Exercise caution, but go, go and meet people sensibly and enjoy yourselves. Jeffrey, we're hearing that after Christmas, he could go back to this step two. But that's a sort of hell where we're told we're not allowed to socialise with people indoors. The hospitality industry runs under communist controls, either shutting at 8 p.m. or having uh, to serve food only outside. Travel would be banned. This could be the end of Boris Johnson, uh, surely, because if he introduced uh, these types of measures, I presume you're going to have dozens of MPs writing letters of no confidence and sending them to your committee. Well, do you know what? I feel even more vindicated taking the vote than I did a week ago uh, because it's simply the evidence wasn't there. And whatever he does in the future, he must act on the evidence. And there is no evidence at the moment that the National Health Service is going to be overwhelmed. Indeed, the evidence is somewhat to the contrary. In South Africa, the cases of peak, they're now starting yeah. to come down. The number of um, hospitalizations uh, was never that severe in South Africa. And we have many more people uh, vaccinated in this country than South Africa does. So I think that we've got to be very, very careful before we take people's liberties away again.